you know, this, this culture at Hera Hub, which we've created, which is, as you said, generous and warm and welcoming and nurturing, but still at the same time, you know, we're here to, to encourage and lift and climb it, which, which, which is, as you pointed out very well, the, the unofficial motto is go big or go home, yeah, right? Yeah. Which you said in Sweden, like people would be like, oh, are you kidding me, right? Yeah. Which I understand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, it's kind of like a very direct statement. Yeah. So do you mind just sharing yeah. your thoughts on that? Yeah, I've been telling Felina uh, that uh, it is, uh, it's a big difference in cultures, uh, Sweden and the States, uh, when it comes to uh, how you look upon what you call a, fail uh, a failure. Mm -hmm. So here I, I get a sense of exactly what you're saying, that it's uh, to start a business is uh, the same as making failures mm -hmm. or, or making mistakes mm -hmm. or somehow mm -hmm. things don't turn out the way you want them to turn out. It, it's not if, but it's when, rather. In Sweden, it's we don't look upon failures or mistakes this way. It's rather, I don't dare to do this because what if I fail? Mm. And if you fail, and I've been talking to a lot of women now the last seven months, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm that it's not only uh, a financial uh, risk yeah. that they speak about, it's like losing your face, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What if I say that I'm going to do this and then it doesn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out? What are the neighbors going to say? What is my family going to say? How will I feel? It's so much concerned uh, like yeah, the... Uh, the, the inner failure mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, so uh, stuck in yeah. Sweden, I would say, that I don't see here. Mm. Uh, and I don't say that uh, in, uh, in USA all the people are they taking all these risks, but yeah. you have a different approach mm. towards uh, mistakes or what you call failure. That it's uh, something that is totally, well, this is business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But what advice do you give women who come to you and have this conversation? I say to them that they are, there are plenty of ways to start a business without, you know, having to leave uh, your your income like this. Yeah. You can start by by um, uh, putting a few hours a week mm -hmm. on something, yeah. and then you can just uh, add another hour on to that, and you can take one step at a time mm. so as long as you take one step at a time towards something that is uh, is um, um, is going at the direction to your goal mm -hmm. you're doing a, a great thing just one step at a time one a step at a time yeah and then things will start because when you start moving towards something you want something I don't know what it is but things happen. You, you you meet people that you would never have met before because you open a door which you would never have opened had you been left where you were from the beginning. So I think that it all comes down to making some kind of action towards what it is that you want. Absolutely. Yeah.